Hello and welcome to the fourth of my chilli growing videos for Oaxaca. This one's all about taking care of your chilli plants and making sure that none of the nasties happen to your chilli plants that will basically ruin any of your hard work that you've done so far. Um, the first one is about watering. Now I've said it before but I'll say it again. Don't over water your chilli plants and just keep the compost moist, not saturated. Because one of the easiest ways to kill your chilli plants is to over water them or alternatively don't water them for ages and then hit them with a deluge of water. It will kill your chilli plants stone dead and you just end up with dead chilli plants and a lot of tears because you'll have ruined all the hard work that you've done so far. It's better to water them little and often. To give them a bit of a helping hand when they're in flower like this is also to include in your watering can a little bit of um, liquid tomato feed but use it at half the concentrate that it recommends on the back of a pack. Or, if you look on the internet, there's also specialist chilli feeds out there as well that you can use. The second one is the enemy of the gardener, and it's, it'll attack your chilli plants as, as it'll attack any of your other plants. It's the slugs and snails. Now, the only thing really that you can do with that is just keep checking your greenhouse or wherever you've got your chilli plants every so often, getting rid of all the slugs and snails. You can, if you're that way minded, is to put down slug pellets. I prefer not to. I prefer to do it as organically as possible. Um, but there are organic ways of doing it, used in used coffee grounds for example, or alternatively um, there is a product out there that's an organic slug pellet and if you message Oaxaca then I'll be able to uh, pass on the details to you so you can try that product yourself. The third thing that you need to watch out for, and again enemy of a lot of plants and it also seems to hit chilli plants as well, especially this time of the year, is black fly and green fly. Now the easiest way to get rid of that is if you've got it in the greenhouse try and encourage things like ladybirds to come into your greenhouse. Those will eat all the green fly and black fly and those will do the job for you. If however you can't do that or you've got your chilli plants outside, another way of doing it, and again it's a little bit of a cheat but it seems to work, is to get um, a watered down solution of washing up liquid, put it into a spray bottle and spray the plants and leaves with that. Now a couple of things you've got to make sure with that is that you don't use an antibacterial washing up liquid, just use a standard one if you can. And the second thing as well is that water your plants when it's cold or dark, um, not in direct sunlight, because all that will happen is that you'll scorch your plants and again they will kill your plants stone dead. So there we go, that's the three main things that can happen to your chilli plants. It's not a comprehensive guide, but those are the three main things. So hopefully you'll get through all the nasties. And I'll see you on the next video um, to give you some more tips about how to grow your chilies. See you then. Bye-bye.